Welcome to MicroStrategy Blog. This is Jeremy. Today I'm going to show you how to dynamically pull images into documents. So first I'm going to show you kind of the, the framework that needs to be laid. I have four images here. They're actually repeats of two images. Old school hip hop party soundtrack, Ratatat, and then three is also old school and Ratatat again. And I just use these because they're common size and that's one of the one of the prerequisites for something like this, you're going to need uh, images that are all the same size. In this case, they're 500 pixels by 500 pixels, which means they're nice and square and you can scale them easily. Next, I'm going to be looking at the category performance report. And this is in the MicroStrategy Analytics modules. And I'll go ahead and leave the extension in the blog and on the YouTube video. So if you want to mimic this exactly. <clears throat> So I'm going to create a document from this report, but uh, actually before I do, let me go ahead and show you the report itself and the pieces that I'm going to be using. So you can see how the report works. It's category, subcategory, region, month. So I'm going to move category to the page by axis, and then I'm going to add the attribute form by right clicking on the category word itself, attribute forms ID. So you can see that number that category books is one. Electronics 2, Movies 3, Music 4, which is why I have 1, 2, 3, 4 here. Okay, so I'm going to be actually using the ID number to populate the JPEGs. As opposed to, say, if I were to use the description, the description might have spaces, which could be a problem when you end up, say, instead of C drive, you want to put this on a publicly available uh, intranet site or internet site. You don't want spaces, so just try to deal with IDs. Keys usually are numbers, and if they're not numbers, um, they're usually strings without spaces, hopefully. Okay, so this is a report that we're going to use. So I'm going to right-click on that report and go Create Document. So it's going to automatically load this document in with the document itself in the header. I'm going to get rid of the detail and the detail footer. and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove category from this report because uh, I don't need it. I'm going to remove it from the grid and then I'm going to change that. I'm going to grab that category and I'm going to add it to the grouping. So you can either add it uh, by dragging or you can right click and go add to grouping. <clears throat> so now I have a category header along with my detail as well as a category footer. I'm not worried about the footer. So I'm going to grab this category. I'm going to actually grab the word, the uh, attribute category, and I'm going to make it large. Let's say 18 bold. And I'm going to go ahead and run the report just so you can kind of see how this looks. So now I have my books. I have my electronics, movies, and music. And you can see each one is its own report. And of course, uh, as I've shown in earlier videos, you can make all your own subheadings. And uh, this logic that I'm going to be showing you will hold for everything. So now that I have category, let's say I wanted to add an image of that category. Say I had a, an icon for movies, uh, an icon for electronics, something to make it look a little better. So insert image, and I'm just going to click on it. I'm not necessarily going to drag. And keep in mind that I put it in the temp folder. And you do an open curly brace, the word category, which is your attribute, the at symbol, and then ID, close curly brace. Basically, I'm saying I just want to extract the category ID of whatever's on this page, and then I'm going to follow that with .jpg. So again, you can see I have C temp one is hopefully going to be mimicked in C temp one .jpg. Okay, so this is a uh, small little icon. I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so that you can see it. Let's make this instead of 18. We'll go ahead and kick that up to 28. And then I'm going to right click, go to properties, and I'm going to make this image, keeping in mind the, the layout is the aspect ratio is locked. I'm going to make it twice as big. Let's say one by one. Okay, so now I have category performance and the image. So let's go ahead and see if that worked. There you go. So now I have my movies. Category one is old school, or I'm sorry, books is category one, which is old school hip hop. Electronics, again, movies, which is category three, old school hip hop. 
and music, category four. So there's lots of tricks that you can do with this. Say you even wanted to add a uh, subcategory where you have a smaller image. Let's go ahead and just do that for fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to Amazon. And let's grab another, uh, uh, let me think. I'll say Explosions in the Sky, they're a band that I like. So I'll go ahead and pull their new album, Take Care, Take Care. So I saved it as image one one. There it is. In if you'll remember, if we go back to the report, category performance report. So subcategory has its own IDs, and you'll see arts and architecture is one one. So we can go ahead and repeat that process. Now let's go ahead and add uh, in the detail. We can add another page by subcategory. And we can remove this. And then we'll just go ahead and copy these two images, or these, the image and the text. We'll go ahead and put that in the subcategory, indent it a little bit. Say subcategory. And then we're going to go ahead and format this properties. St instead of category ID, we'll go ahead and make that sub category ID. Let's go ahead and test it. So if we go into books, arts and architecture, there's your first image and your second image. So this is great if you have static images and a common size that you can pull for your reports to make them a little more dynamic. And this uh, holds in the web as well. Once again, my name is Jeremy. You've been watching MicroStrategy Blog. Thank you very much.